Hey, welcome to my journey. Today's video is Dessert Timber Christmas Cookie Swap Collab. This is hosted by Roy over at Recipes with Roy. He put this together and there's probably 16 or 17 different channels involved. And we all had to sign up our cookie because we didn't want any repeats. So you're going to get 16 or 17 different cookies. That is a bargain right here at Christmas time. Now, let me tell you about mine. Mine are no bake. Mine are so easy. Mine are something you get the kids involved with. Um, just when I, and I said it on my menu plan at a grocery haul today. When I break my back at Thanksgiving, I take it easy at Christmas. We just do whatever. If it's store-bought goodies, then it's store-bought goodies. You know, if it's something simple, it's something simple. We don't argue about it. We get together to have fun and play games and open presents and just do all that fun stuff. I mean, we like to eat. Obviously, we like to eat or we wouldn't have food at our gatherings. But I make it easy on myself. So, these are no-bake s'mores cookies. Now, let me say, they set up, I want you to go by what I'm telling you now, and not what you see in the video. I I wasn't going to remake them. Um, it, it's not that big of a deal. Well, I guess if you were giving them as gifts, it would be. That's why I'm going to tell you what to do to fix it. The recipe I used called for adding all to the chocolate chips. You know, back in the day, we did that all the time. We made our um, peanut butter balls and all that. that. That's how you did it back in the day. You didn't just melt chocolate chips. You always added some kind of oil shortening or something to it, right? Well, I did. And they set up, when I filmed my um, final reveal, I guess you could call it, they set up. I even held it up. I told you, okay, look, see, it, it hardened. When I got through filming that and I turned around, I'm, I've got them in the freezer. I'm freezing them until Christmas. Um, I don't want them to go to waste. I mean, David can't eat them all because I'm not supposed to have them. Although I did taste one and ooh, it's delicious. I'll tell you that. You know, I had to. Um, but w when I turned around to get the, the other ones to put them in my container, they had already started to kind of melt, but they, they were starting to get sticky. And they were all firm and hard. But as they sat in here in the, the heat of the room, I guess that all is what made the difference. So when you melt it, use the same amount of chocolate chips, but just omit the all. Don't, don't make it with the all. I'm telling you up front, what, what you're going to see is me following the recipe, the way it was written, and the results at the end is I'm telling you now, do not put in the all, and they will be perfect. But like I said, I got them in the freezer. When they come out, it'll take them longer to heat up to the room temperature. I'll just bring a little bit. I won't put the whole tray out. Um, you know, I'll just put a few out for everybody to sample. And of course, I'll promptly package them up and send them home with somebody. I don't know who, but somebody will get them. And anyway, that's what we're doing today. No bake s'mores cookies. Simple, easy, delicious. Now, you heard me tell you about the 15, 16, 17 channels. I'm not really sure. So that's your homework. When you get through with mine, you have to go down in the description box and visit everybody else that is listed and see what they have to offer. If you're not subscribed to any of us, if you're not subscribed to me, I'd love to have you. I really would. I have the best subscribe. Everybody says that, but I know mine's the truth. I have the best subscribers around that they've so many just have become friends. Just, just, I have such a friendly, supportive, sweet, group of ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there's a few gentlemen out there. There are. Um, so I can't forget them, but I would love to have you. And if any of the other channels that you um, visit, you're not subscribed to, give them a subscribe. Give, give us all a like, a nice little thumbs up, a comment. We, we like, well, I know I do. I like um, responding to your comments. 
And so anyway, well, that's all I know. Um, thank you, Roy, for inviting me and putting this collab together. Dessert Timber Cookie Swap. And so let's turn around and get to making those easy cookies. To get started on our s'mores no-bake cookies, we need to talk about the all. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of all. I have olive and avocado, and I don't think either one of those will be good. You could also use vegetable, but I have coconut oil that I thought would be good in it. So what I did first was I measured it out, and then I went ahead and microwaved it so it would be liquid as I think the um, recipe intends. So if you use coconut oil, go ahead and microwave it first. And to that, we're going to add some milk chocolate chips, and I'm just using the Nestle Toll House chips. And we need one and two-thirds cups. You want to microwave this for one and a half minutes on 50% power and stir them after every 30 seconds. Your chocolate chips are ready. When they're completely smooth, you've gone too far. When they look like they're soft, 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 but they still look like a chip, and when you touch them and they smooth out, they're done. So I will be checking them after each 30 seconds, and I will let you know how long it took mine to do. Okay, here they are. See, you can see like some chip shapes. When you start stirring them, they're completely melted. So we want to stir it good enough to get that oil mixed in. And then we are going to add some Golden Graham cereal. It is just this, the General Mills Golden Grahams. We need three cups. And I've already measured them. So we want to fold these in until they're completely covered. Now I meant to tell you, before I started any of this, I went ahead and put some parchment paper on my big baking sheet because you want to have that ready so you're not trying to fumble around with it and maybe you're, well, it's not going to sit up that fast. It's, it's not like you have to go at the speed of light, but when you're doing something like this, it, it just helps to have that part of it already. So we want to keep stirring this because I still see plenty of dry cereal and I don't, I don't want to see dry cereal. I think maybe that might be good enough. Now we need to fold in two cups of mini marshmallows. We're going to try to get them covered as well. Okay, let's head to the other side of the kitchen. So here is my biggest sheet pan. Um, and this is my small cookie scoop. You see the yellow? It's clean. I sprayed it with Pam just so it will release um, the chocolate easier. And we're just going to... And I hope those stick together. <sighs> Drop little scoopfuls. This made a lot, so we may have to do more. Oh, they're just not sticking together. I wonder if it's that all in there. But we may have to do more than one sheet. Okay, so we ended up with 42. There's my 42. Let's say if you see one and they're not Let's see. Let's just say this one's not sticking together. You can go along with your finger and before it sets up, push them together to make a nice little um, mound so that when they do harden, all the pieces will fit together. These need to go in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes to set up. Okay, so here they are. You can see they stuck together. And I've already tasted one. They're delicious. Oh, they're good. And you see, they couldn't be easier. They just could not be easier. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you um, go and visit all the other channels. There's a bunch of them. And like I said, they're all going to be different. That's going to be 16 or 17 different cookies that you're going to have to choose from. Make one, make them all. <laughs> Who's to say? It's Christmas. Do what you want to do. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas to come. It's not long. It's not long. And thank you for watching. I will see you on my next Vlogmas. Oh, thanks, Roy. Thanks for having me. Merry Christmas.